Hello everybody, today it's gonna be a very interesting day because I've just picked this up from the shop. It is the 7 Artisan Wide Angle Lens 7.5mm f2.8 fish eye. So I'm very excited because uh, this is my first fish eye lens. I'm gonna be doing some testing and I'm going to be sharing in this video. So what's in this box? Now the box is quite premium. Uh, it's all black and there's a bit of... It's just a simple box. It looks like this some manuals and everything is in Chinese so I don't read Chinese but who reads manual anyway all right uh, okay there's a sponge over here you remove the sponge and then the lens is inside so you pull this out there's nothing else in the box put it aside and this is how it looks like very interesting so there are some writings on the on the plastic as well 7 i logo and also some warning sign okay Check this out guys, this is how it looks like. So there's a lens cover. It's just it's a metal cover and uh, it just acts like a, a suction cup uh, in front of your lens. Right? So it's my first time seeing this kind of a lens cap. So the glass is very interesting, it looks purplish. If you can see over here, right? It looks purplish and it says 7.5 mm f2.8. 7 Adisans Fish Eye Lens and the lens hood is mounted together with the lens and it's made of metal as well so it's pretty it's pretty heavy actually it's about 300 over grams and um, everything is manual so let's take a look at the back of the uh, cover over here so the rear cover now this is made by uh, made of plastic okay and uh, we have a metal uh, rear end over here and there is no electronic um, circuit or uh, electronic uh, chips meaning to say this is a manual lens now if you take a look carefully the bottom ring is actually the aperture ring so it starts from f2.8 until f22 it's just a quarter of a turn and you can just go from f2.8 to f22 just like that so it's very convenient it's very easy um, focus ring starts from 0.12 and it ends at infinity so for a focus ring it turns about half half a turn so it's very easy to maneuver. Uh, the feeling, the smoothness of the ring, uh, focus ring and also aperture ring is very tight, uh, which is good because you don't want to be accidentally touch the ring and then your focus is just out and then uh, your aperture is just out. So it's very good feeling. Overall build is very good. Um, the glass is very interesting. It looks purplish. So I love this kind of color. So every time when I see lens like that, I'm bound to, to be so interested to buy it and then give it a try. So how's the quality of this lens? We're not sure yet. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some photos, I'm gonna take some videos, and I'm gonna try vlogging with this lens to see how good is that. So here is how the photo looks like when I took the shot from this lens. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Looks good, right? So um, the most interesting part is that this Sony camera, it has this clear image zoom. You can zoom in two times and also four times. So for a wide angle lens like this, if you're taking picture at the 7.5mm, it's very very wide. So what you can do is, you press on the button, you zoom in twice, maybe it's about 15mm, you get a nicer zoom image, which is very good, right? And then if you want a closer shot, you can go four times zoom, which is very interesting. I have a couple of images that I've tried zooming in and it looks fantastic. Check it out guys! Looks nice right? Now, these are the few examples of the pictures that I zoom in four times. In my opinion, I don't really like it when I zoom in so much because it looks very blurry. So let's check it out. The clear image zoom even works on a video mode. If you're shooting video, you can go on a super wide angle, 7.5mm, and then you can go in twice the zoom. And at the same time, you can also zoom in four times to take the video. So here is how it looks like when you take the video on a wide angle. Have a look. Mm. 
Alright guys, I'm standing literally about one and a half feet away from the lens right now and you can see that I'm all in frame and you can also have a clearer view of what's on my right and what's on my left. So it's very very wide angle, 7.5mm fish eye lens. So uh, if I were to take a step back, I'm about one and a half meter away right now and this is about two meters away and you can see very very far so that's the quality of this lens not too bad right and if you zoom in twice this is how it looks like let's go so now guys this lens is at a two times zoom so for a 7.5 mm lens if you zoom it twice it's about 15 mm zoom right now so it's still very wide and um, the image quality is still very good so if you're using a wide angle lens and you use the clear image zoom by Sony uh, camera you can actually use it like a normal lens so you have the function of zooming a little bit you have a wide angle as well now the best part about this uh, Sony uh, clear image zoom is that you can zoom in four times so this is how it looks like if you zoom in two times now I'm gonna zoom in into four times and see how it looks like okay are you guys ready let's go all right guys this is four times zoom so you can see that clearly the back uh, the background has actually shrunk and I'm actually in frame which you can just see my face I think so right it's just my face around here all right so this is the four times zoom and you made a call whether the quality is good on the seven artisan lens or the quality is just okay wow not too bad not too bad I spent about $150 for this lens and for that kind of money I think it's pretty good not too bad the quality is amazing you get quite a quite a nice shot and then you get a wide angle you can zoom in with the uh, clear image zoom so overall it is not too bad and um, how about vlogging can I use this lens for vlogging absolutely here's the example hey guys so now I'm using the vlogging setup I'm holding uh, the camera with a Joby Gorilla Pod and I'm just walking around the pool area uh, about one and a half feet away from the camera so if you're using a wide angle lens or super wide angle lens or a fisheye lens it's easier for you to, to do a vlogging and uh, as you can see the quality of the vlogging on this lens is not too bad actually and the only disadvantage is that you don't have the autofocus it doesn't detect your face so at certain point if you hold it too close you may get some blurry images but the focus ring on this lens can be set to infinity so anything that is away two feet is going to be as clear as it can go all right so you're safe as long as you're two feet away from the camera you know everything is super clear now what if i have to zoom this two times so guys this is how it looks like when i use the sony image zoom two times so if it's 7.5 mm i think it will be a 15 mm right now you still can use it as a, as a vlogging camera 15 mm is quite wide actually you can use it for a landscape shot as well but if you want to be safe a 7.5 mm is even better so overall would i recommend this lens if you're planning to have a low budget lens and it's still a fish eye wide angle yes it's a very good investment but if you have uh, more cash you have more money you want to have a better quality wide angle lens probably you can look around for other lenses that may have autofocus because some people just don't like to shoot in in manual focus me example because it's a lot of work uh, i don't have the skills but i'm still learning all right so guys if you have any question you want to know about this lens hit me down on the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video hit the subscribe button if you love this video click the like button if you enjoy watching it i'll catch up with you guys in a short while bye bye Shh.